I'm reading J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows uh, for Band Books Week. Uh, the two men appeared out of nowhere, a few yards apart in the narrow, moonlit lane. For a second, they stood quite still. Wands directed at each other's chests, then recognizing each other, they stowed their wands beneath their cloaks and started walking briskly in the same direction. News? asked the taller of the two. The best, replied Severus Snape. The lane was bordered on the left by wild, low-growing brambles, and on the right by a high, neatly manicured hedge. The men's long cloaks flapped around their ankles as they marched. Thought I might be late, said Yaxley, his blunt features sliding in and out of sight as the branches of overhanging trees broke the moonlight. It was a little trickier than I expected, but I hope he will be satisfied. You sound confident that your reception will be good? Snape nodded, but did not elaborate. They turned right into a wide driveway that led off the lane. The high hedge curved with them, running off into the distance, beyond the pair of impressive wrought iron gates barring the men's way. The other of them broke step. In silence, both raised their left arms in a kind of salute and passed straight through as though the dark metal were smoke. The yew hedges muffled the sound of the men's footsteps. There was a rustle somewhere in their, to the right. He actually drew his wand again, pointing it over his companion's head. But the source of the noise proved to be nothing more than a pure white peacock strutting majestically along the top of the hedges. He always did himself well, Lucius. Peacocks, he actually thrust his wand back under his cloak with a snort.